What's up guys, it's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. Let's get it. A new challenger emerges. That's right, we've gone away from Gary Brecker, Dave Asprey, and Paul Saladino as our rotational trio and we have a new challenger, Dr. Pompa. I admit I have watched this video already. When I saw it, I went, hmm, I wonder what kind of doctor. Went to his profile, click through, and he's a chiropractor. All these charlatan chiropractors don't say that they're a chiropractor. I have seen chiropractors that actually gave good advice and good evidence, and they usually list that they're a chiropractor in their bio. They don't hide it deep on their website where you can't find it unless you go look. I could put Dr. Lane Norton, but I put Lane Norton PhD in nutritional sciences because I want you to know my specific area of expertise. Chiropractors that I'm aware of get absolutely no training in nutrition or how to read research. So that's just my little quasi intro. Let's see what Dr. Pampa has to say about protein shakes. Drinking these protein shakes. Listen, you're gonna wanna hear this, you're probably gonna wanna share the video because so many people are drinking this stuff. Matter of fact, since I've been in this store, these things are just flowing off the shelves. That's how popular they are. So, so they're, they're flowing off the shelves. Meanwhile, he's standing there filming like a multi-minute video and nobody even walks by. Maybe they just are like, what the heck is that cringy guy doing? I don't know. Shake one of these and my energy bar. This is not food, folks, okay? Here's the way it's marketed. It's marketed as healthy and that's why people feel Feel good about it. 30 grams of protein. Oh, that's got to be good. One gram of sugar and 24 wonderful vitamins and minerals. These are synthetic vitamins and minerals in a chemical concoction. Oh no! Chemicals! I've never had chemistry and so it's big and scary. Whether something is a synthetic chemical or a natural chemical, everything is a chemical. Everything. Your organic grass-fed steak filled with chemicals. Every single thing is a chemical. The, the question is not whether or not something has chemicals. The question is, are those chemicals dangerous in the dosages that are available? He doesn't address any of that. He just fear mongers with Ooh, chemical cocktail. Take sugars like sucralose, most of these have them, and things you can't even pronounce. Ask Bro, if I listed the ingredients of an organic banana in terms of the chemical composition, you couldn't pronounce most of them. And oh my gosh, sucralose, oh no. They go fear mongering this stuff all the time. You guys have seen the videos on artificial sweeteners. In human randomized control trials, when they swap out sugar sweetened beverages for these artificial sweeteners, they get healthier. Oh no. Can we just get away from this whole, oh, you can't pronounce it? I feel like these people either haven't had chemistry or they slept through the class. Probably the latter. Acyl foam, potassium is in most of the- Acyl foam? Okay, don't think it's called acyl foam, but I mean, you tried. These products, yeah, it's a stimulant. It makes it taste good, but the fact- It's a stimulant? It makes it, uh, it, it makes it taste good. Stimulant? What? Fact is, is the stuff drives obesity. Listen. <laughs> oh, if only, you guys know what time it is. If only we had human randomized control trials where they put in artificially sweetened beverages in place of regular sweetened beverages. And oh wait, we have dozens, several meta-analyses that all consistently show that when you put in non-nutritive sweetened beverages compared to sugar sweetened beverages, people lose weight and get healthier. And by the way, they even lose a little bit more weight using non-nutritive sweetened beverages in place of sugar sweetened beverages compared to water. It's not a big effect. If you like to drink water, water's just fine. But this whole, this is driving obesity, complete, absolute, Rubbish. Suggesting this because they think it's a healthy, easy meal. It may be convenient, but I promise you it is not healthy. When you look at the ingredients in all of these products, I'm telling you, this is stuff we'll pack on the pounds. And by the way, if that's breakfast, this ends up being lunch, meaning a protein bar or some type of health. So if you have a protein shake for breakfast, then a protein bar ends up being lunch, okay? Our energy bar, stay away from the energy drinks. This is the slippery slope fallacy, by the way. The protein drinks, this is not food, America. Do I think in general, consuming whole food sources is better than protein shakes and protein bars. Sure, but not everyone has the time to cook those. Some people, Dr. Pampa, 
have, I don't know, five kids and are single parents and are just doing the best they can. And so, if they want to grab a protein shake compared to say, I don't know, McDonald's, I'd say that's a load healthier option than the latter. But when you do content like this, where you shame, demonize, and fear monger these foods, what they end up doing is, well, all this stuff's unhealthy. I might as well just have the stuff I usually have, which is ultra processed junk food that is high in calories. Whereas if they had a not perfect, but better substitution, they might do that instead. These guys obviously don't care about scientific research because there are dozens and dozens and dozens of human randomized control trials, but these guys don't care about evidence. What they end up doing is appealing to anecdote. But bro, my anecdote's better, because you're 46. I'm only three years younger than you. Well, three and a half. And mm, I'm just gonna leave it there. Bye guys.